Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, Christianity is beautiful. It is lovely. And following Jesus is beautiful. But it's not easy. We have to face the truth and tell ourselves that it's not easy. Carrying your cross on a daily basis is not easy. I just want to encourage you, even in this video. Um, so, basically, in the book of Acts 12 from verse 1. So, James was beheaded and he was killed right and now um the church was praying for peter they had planned that after they had beheaded james and it pleased the jews they wanted to also to kill peter right so basically i want you not to be too comfortable in your life whether things are going smoothly whether you are in your answered prayers era answered prayers era whether things are still you think that they're looking good. I don't want you to ever feel comfortable and think that the enemy will not uh, will not come and attack you. Remember that you are a child of God right now. Therefore, you have translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. So the enemy is going to fight you on a daily basis. Let me tell you something. The devil is sneaky. I always say that the devil is sneaky. The devil will come and check in your life whether you are still praying or whether you are still studying your word you are still doing the things that brings you close to god you still have the revelation of the word of god and if he sees that you are slacking and you are no longer praying i'm thinking the church was comfortable the bible does not record whether they were praying for james so you would think that the church was comfortable thinking that these are Jesus' disciples, so they're going to come out. These are Jesus' disciples. They're just going to come out. And when James was beheaded, that's when the church woke up and started praying. Praise God. So now they are praying. They are praying that Peter must come out. I want you to, to close the door. Whether things are going well, whether things are not going well, shut yourself and say, God, it is me and you. Prayer is not always about asking things from God. Prayer is a relationship. Prayer is communion with God. So you commune with your father because you love him. When you love somebody, do you, let's say you've got a husband, you've got a, a wife. Do you talk to them once a month, once a week? Or do you always want to talk to them? So I want you to cultivate a culture where you know that this point in time, this period, it's me and Jesus. This period, it's me and God. And I don't want any distractions. You might sacrifice your sleep. Personally, I sacrifice my sleep because I know that before my son wakes up and before everyone else wakes up, um, it's easy for me to study. It's easy for me to comprehend um whatever that i study it's easy for me to hear the voice of god clearly before my day starts so i will take two hours three hours depending on the day but have a set time where you know that it's you and god whether you are speaking to god about the things that are happening in your life or you're just lavishing your love upon him because he has lavished his love upon you because jesus loves you so much he died for you he paid the price for you so you are not going to give up because the enemy is trying is roaming around trying to see who he may devour you are not you are not scared of the devil. You should not be scared of the devil as a Christian. And when the enemy knows that you are scared of him, then that's where he strikes. He strikes because he knows that you are scared of him. You, you, are, not, you, you are unable to see his tactics. You are unable to see when the devil is striking in your life. You're thinking, ah, maybe this is not working out because it's just not working out. And sometimes, let me tell you, Life is very spiritual. The sooner you understand that whatever that happens in the physical realm, it started in the spiritual realm, things will work out for you. Things are going great. 
you go deep in prayer. Things are not going well, you go deep in prayer. You say, God, you do not start your day without God. You don't start your day. You do not end your day without God. You make time, you prioritize your time with God. So I want to encourage you to always be watchful, be prayerful, study your word and have conversations with your father. I don't know how you pray. Others they journal, others they say things, uh, but speak to God and God is a good, good father. He's a loving father. He loves you. And he wants to have a relationship with you. But one thing that God will never do is force himself on you. So be deliberate about spending time with God. If you say you're going to spend an hour with God, you spend an hour with God. Be like, God, I'm going to pray for an hour. I'm going to pray for 30 minutes. I'm going to pray for two hours. Praise God. So let me tell you about prayer. Prayer is like exercise. When the more you exercise, the more muscle you will grow. Even with prayer, the more you pray, the more you'll be able to pray for longer hours. Do not ever compare your relationship with God to anybody. I don't want you to compare it to myself. I don't want you to put pe people on a pedestal and want to be like them. God created us differently. He didn't want us to be the same. He didn't want us to copy each other. He you can be inspired by people, but don't copy everything that people do and want to do. Develop your own relationship. Develop your own prayer time. Praise God. So I hope this video encourages you to start. Whether you have started or you have not started, God is still good and he still loves you. And he still wants to have a relationship with you. Don't ever think that maybe I've sinned so much. I've done this and God no longer wants to hear me or God does not want to hear my voice. He wants to hear from you because he loves you. The Bible says, while we were still yet sinners. It says, while we were still yet sinners, Jesus died for us. He did not wait for us to change, but he died for us while we were still yet sinners. So have that in your mind that while I was still a sinner, he died for me. That means he loves me. His love is unconditional. Just share in the comment section the things, some of the strategies that you use, some of the things that you use so that you can help somebody else who's going to be reading in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe to all the beautiful things that are supposed to be done. From me to you, love is beautiful. I love you.